Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Rogers. This is History by the Plate. Fall is in the air, and that means football and tailgating. And tailgating, of course, means hot dogs. Now, where do we get the hot dog? Why is it called a hot dog? Let's take a look. Among the first references to sausage is a passage in the Odyssey around 800 BC. Several hundred years later, Roman Emperor Nero's cook, Gaius, realized that pig's intestines could be used as a casing for the ground meat, making the first sausage links, making it a much more portable food. In the 13th century in Frankfurt, the government commissioned the making of sausages in casings filled with finely ground sausage. They gave these to the peasants to celebrate the coronation of Maximilian II as king. This explains one of the names for the smooth meat sausages being called the Frankfurter. In Austria, too, a similar sausage evolved in Vienna, known as Wienerwurst, hence the name Wiener. In the mid-1800s, there was a large influx of German and Austrian immigrants into the United States, bringing with them similar sausages. These were referred to commonly as Dachshund sausages. In 1871, Charles Feltman, a German baker in Coney Island, came up with the idea of selling Dachshund sausages wrapped in a bun, making them a food that workers and tourists could eat while walking about. In a story sometimes challenged, in 1901, New York Journal cartoonist Tad Dorgan observed vendors selling the Dachshund sausages in rolls, crying out, get them while they're hot. And Dorgan sketched a Dachshund nestled cozily in a bun. Not knowing how to spell Dachshund, and in a hurry to get to press, he called the pictured treat Hot Dogs, and thus the name was born. I hope this has been fun and informative. For more fun recipes, histories, and travel tips, take a look at our website, www.historybytheplate.com. Oh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's fun and free. Happy cooking!